What's up folks, it's Mark with Launchpad B coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. And today's kind of an exciting announcement that they've made. Uh, I actually found out today that they've now released the option to basically record your screen while simultaneously using your webcam and your microphone. So essentially what that means now is that you can do software tutorials, gaming tutorials, or pretty much any kind of a thing like on your computer, like a, without using Zoom basically. Up until this point, uh, I was always telling folks that you could use Zoom, you could basically record yourself doing a meeting on your computer, do whatever you need to, then import that into ClipChamp, uh, and then edit it there. This removes that step. There's no need to go into Zoom anymore. Just basically use the ClipChamp tool, and it's super easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and open ClipChamp and show you how it works. So what we're going to do is there's an option here that says start with a recording. So we're going to go ahead and select here where it says screen and camera. Now there are options for just a screen or just a camera if you don't want to do both. So let's go ahead and select both options. Now normally there'd be a little arrow here pointing up that says, do you want to allow ClipChamp to record your screen? And then you would say yes. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got my correct items selected. So here you got the option to select all of the different microphones. I happen to be using a Yeti mic. Uh, and then you can select your camera. Now I've already got my standard webcam selected here, uh, so we're good to go. So the now what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit the button that says record. And there we go, I have multiple screens, so let's go ahead and select the appropriate screen. There we go, and we are ready to go. And let's select share audio, and boom. We are now officially recording. Trippy, right? Like, ooh, I'm going into this. Okay, so the next thing is now, now you're gonna go ahead and record whatever you want. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to share a, let's say, a PowerPoint presentation, uh, and I wanted to do some kind of a presentation for, I don't know, somebody. Uh, we would basically open th the presentation, uh, and then we would just go ahead and we would start presenting it. We would go through the motions. Uh, we could go to the full screen option if we wanted to. We can switch. Uh, there we go. And then you could go ahead and do your presentation if you wanted to and record it with your image down in the bottom corner there as a thumbnail. Uh, you can't see it on your actual screen, but it is recording your webcam and it's making a second video. What it's essentially doing is recording two different videos for you. So let's go ahead and stop doing the PowerPoint presentation. I get a lot of gamers that watch this channel. They want to stream or, or do a video about a game. Uh, historically again they have to find a screen recorder then they have to use clip champ there's a lot of different tools that they use now you can do it all at once so let's say for example i want to play my favorite game so there we go my game is on screen it's a full screen game i can go ahead and play go about my business however i want my team is dying because i'm not even here uh, but any, essentially the game is now going and you can do a tutorial if you wanted you could go ahead and record what you want you could talk somebody through it you could do your tutorial while recording your video now, when you're done doing all of that, you basically go back to ClipChamp and you're gonna hit stop. Now, here's the cool part. There's your video. So now I'm gonna hit the button that says save and edit. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically, number one, it's gonna drop the files onto my computer, which is fantastic. Number two, it's gonna automatically drop them into the timeline for me, amazing. Now, the other thing that's cool here is that you have the ability, basically go in here, I could click, I could put the thumbnail wherever I want. So it's not stuck in a particular spot. Uh, it's as if you were editing just a standard picture in picture, which is really cool. You can do it however, like I said, however you want. The other thing that's cool is you've got your secondary track down here beneath, which is your thing. So let's say, for example, we wanted to start editing our video uh, right at the point to where I correct the screen for my presentation. So there we go, we could do that. And then we can just hit the scissors and snip both of these clips and then just delete out what we don't need. There we go. And there you go. You're basically editing your video, just like any other video. Now, the only thing that's a little bit odd right now is that these tracks are basically stuck to one another. Um, you can't separate them. You can't like take the top track and the bottom track and pull them apart. Uh, which isn't a huge problem, uh, but there might be times where maybe I wanted to like cut out just a little piece of something or maybe change the voice over on another part. Uh, it's not you can't do that, but again, I doubt that like most of you would ever need that function. Uh, but for the most part, it's super easy to use. It does it all for you and then it's just a matter of editing. So I'm super impressed with what they've done. I think it's a great tool and I highly suggest you try it. Now, if you found this video to be helpful uh, or if you enjoyed watching it, make sure you like the video uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest ClipChamp uh, innovations basically that are coming out. And if you want to see something or if you have a question about ClipChamp or something you, you're not quite sure how to do or maybe some kind of a workaround, feel free to drop a comment below and ask me about it and I'll be happy to do a video for you. Thanks for watching.